In this session we will learn about secondary name node, checkpoint node, and checkpointing process. The name of the secondary name node is misleading. It gives impression that whenever name node is down, secondary name node is used as the master of the cluster. This is totally incorrect. Secondary name node is deprecated. It is now called checkpoint node but functionality remains the same. What is checkpointing? Why checkpoint node is required? Soon these questions will be answered. Before that, you need to know about FS image and edit log. FS image file is just like an ISO image file of any operating system. You can compare it to Linux ISO image or Windows ISO image. It represents the complete snapshot of the entire HDFS. The snapshot is also available in the main memory. FS image file format is very efficient to read. It is unsuitable for making small incremental updates. Thus, all the modification done to HDFS is recorded in the edit log. Let us consider copying log.txt file into HDFS. This operation is recorded in the edit log. Clearly it is persistent. After writing the record in the edit log, metadata stored in main memory is also updated. As a result client always sees the updated file system namespace. But the important point to remember here is that this operation is first recorded in the edit log for durability. Let's learn few more thing about edit log file. Each operation captured in the edit log file is called a record or a transaction. Each record is identified by transaction ID. In our example, transaction ID of this transaction is 8. Transaction ID is sequentially incremented. Let's keep on doing some operation on HDFS. Next we will issue a command to change access permission of log.txt file. Again this is appended to the edit log. Transaction ID of this record is 9. Metadata is also updated. Similarly all such operations are appended to the edit log. In the 20th transaction we are copying tweets.txt file into HDFS. Suppose now name node crashes all of a sudden. All the operation done till now is erased from the main memory. Fortunately all operations are still available in the edit log. So, when the name node restarts, FS image is first loaded into the main memory. By doing this, only previous stable state is restored. Recently done operations should also be restored. It is done by replaying all the operations from the current edit log. As a result of this, name node restores to the most recent state of the file system namespace. Even during name node boot up, same procedure is executed. That is, FS image is first loaded into the main memory. And then all the records in the edit log are replayed. If this process is executed only during boot up or restart, then there will be problems. First problem is, over time edit logs will accumulate lot of records. And its size will become very very large. In extreme case it can fill up the disk space on name node. Also, replaying lot of records from the edit log will really take a lot of time. As a result, name node boot up time increases. Larger the file, longer the time taken to replay. This is where checkpointing comes into picture. Checkpointing is a periodic process of merging edit log and FS image and producing new FS image. Now edit log file size will be small and there will be less records in the file. As a result, less time will be taken to replay those records. Because of this, name node boot up time is also reduced. 
There is one more problem here. Creating a new FS image is an input-output and CPU-intensive operation. Sometimes it takes a lot of time. During this time, client access to HDFS is restricted. This is where checkpoint node comes into picture. The responsibility of checkpointing, that is merging of edit log and FS image is handed over to different node. This node is called checkpoint node. Earlier this node was called secondary name node. Now name node does not have to restrict access to clients. It will be active all the time and checkpointing is done by different node. When is checkpointing process triggered? Checkpointing process is triggered every one hour. Checkpointing is also triggered if there are 1 million transactions in the edit log. If either of these conditions is met, checkpointing is triggered. Transaction ID in the edit log also plays an important role in the checkpointing process. In our example, current edit log file name is edits underscore in progress underscore 8. Here the suffix 8 is the transaction ID. It means all the transactions starting from transaction ID 8 is stored in this file. Similarly our current FS image file name is FS image underscore 7. It means all the transactions up to transaction ID 7 is merged in this file. Suppose checkpointing process is triggered. Checkpoint node will make an RPC call to the name node. This RPC call is made to get the most recent transaction ID of the edit log. And also the transaction ID of the current FS image. The RPC call will roll the edit log. A new edit log file will be opened to capture all the HDFS operations. This new edit log file name is edits underscore in progress underscore 21, which is the next transaction ID. Rolled edit log file is renamed to edits underscore 8 hyphen 20. It means it contains all transactions starting from transaction ID 8 to transaction ID 20. The RPC call will return 21 for the most recent transaction ID and 7 for the current FS image. Now checkpoint node has to fetch FS image 7 and all transactions between transaction ID 7 and 21. These are the recent operations recorded in edit log file. So this file is fetched. Before fetching FS image, checkpoint node will check whether the FS image on name node and on its machine are same. If they are same then it is not downloaded. Usually it will be same. Because every checkpointing process will create a new image which is stored on both the nodes. FS image 7 was created in the previous checkpointing process. Let's assume checkpoint node does not have FS image 7. So checkpoint node will fetch FS image 7 from name node. These two files are merged and a new FS image is created. That is, FS image 20. Make sure the checkpoint node has enough memory to merge edit log and FS image. After creating new FS image, checkpoint node will notify name node. Finally name node will fetch the new FS image from checkpoint node. That was all about checkpoint node and checkpointing process. One more important point is, checkpoint node does not store FS image snapshot in its main memory. Also it does not have any information about locations of blocks in the cluster. Because data nodes are not configured to send block report to checkpoint node. As a result, checkpoint node or secondary name node is not master of the cluster when name node is down. Checkpoint node is only used for backup and recovery.